Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look is on this like editorial kind of inspired makeup look. I did the eyes and lips today and I'm really loving how they turned out. It's like kind of spit on like a halo eye, kind of is, kind of not kind of thing. So you can kind of see like I've done like a little pop in the center of the eye. But otherwise like it's pretty just like a kind of simple smoky eye. Um, I have kept it like pretty easy done step by step for you guys so you can follow through. So I hope you guys do enjoy today's makeup look. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Hey guys, so for the eye look, I'm going to first of all prime my lids with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Um, just to help them like become like neutralized. There's no like pigmentation showing through. It help the eyeshadows show to their true color kind of thing. All that jazz. So I'm just going to quickly apply that. Just with my Real Techniques um, uh, Deluxe Crease Brush. I'm just going to pack that all over the lid, all the way to the brow bone. And I'm just switching to an eye concealer brush um, just to get it really nice and close under my brow so it looks a bit more defined there, like kind of like carve the brow out a little bit. So I'm not going to set it, I wanted to leave it so it's nice and tacky for the eyeshadows that we apply on next. So for the first eyeshadow we're going to go in with, I'm taking High School Sweetheart from the Aspen Ovard Tarte Collaboration Palette and applying that with a nice big fluffy brush through the crease. And I'm literally just doing like a light wash of this over the crease area because I don't want it to be too pigmented. It's literally just a soft transition colour for the mauvey tones that we're going in with next. So I don't really want it to be like a feature shadow. So I'm just using a little bit of it. Just a light wash. Taking it just underneath that brow bone so it's blended up pretty high. And bringing it towards the inner part of the crease as well. So all the way across that crease area. And I'm also going to take some of High School Sweetheart and just sweep that quite lightly underneath the eye. So we're making sure to curve it round from the crease. So from here and just bring it underneath the eye. Just softly. Kind of hugging that little like eye bag area because again this is going to be the transition shade for the bottom lash line as well. I'm next going to take the blush shade in the shade Made You Blush on that same fluffy blending brush that we used before. I'm just going to start blending that through the crease as well just to kind of bring in this like mauvey tone. It's going to be starting to transition to that kind of like shade range. And I'm going pretty heavy handed with this shade because I really want it to stand out. I want the mauve to really pop on the eye so I'm going in with a fair bit of product but making sure to blend it through quite well. So just take your time and just build it up step by step. And also dragging this under the bottom lash line. Connecting it to the outer corner. And then just taking any clean blending brush and just softening the edges. I'm then going to take the shade Jax from the Jack and Hill Morphe palette and start to blend that through it's the same area, so the outer crease and under eye area. So I'm going to bring some of those berry tones in there. I'm just applying a little at a time. So rounding out that eye shape initially and then I'll start to blend out the edges. Just be careful with these deep berry tones that you don't bring them up too far because it can start to look like you've got like punched in the face so just be mindful of that when you're blending them out just do it a little bit at a time with these deeper tones would be best and keeping it pretty focused in the crease area and I don't mind bringing it onto the lid because we are going to pack it on there a bit later so I use more pressure in the crease and then lighter pressure as I'm blending it up, just slightly. Okay, for the lid area, I'm going to take a shade that's slightly darker than Jack's. It's the 
Makeup Geek shade Bitten. It's like a kind of cranberry red shade. A bit deeper than that, very red. I'm just going to take that on my Morphe MB16 brush and just pack that all over the lid area. So next for the bottom like lash line area, I'm going to go in with Bitten again and on a M Morphe M326 brush, I'm just going to wiggle that tightly against the outer corner part of my eye. Really like wiggling it into that lash line area so that it looks really dark and like pigmented, it like clings to those lashes and just taper it in towards the inner corner a little bit and then on a pencil brush I'm going to take some of Jax and the blush shade, that mauve tone and start blending out bitten and then just on the outer point of the eye I'm just bringing back some of bitten just tightly against those lashes. So for my bottom waterline, I'm going to take the shade Bitten from Makeup Geek again and pack that along the waterline area. If, however, you have sensitive eyes, then I prefer, oh, I recommend that you don't use an eyeshadow. You use an eye coal, like a berry toned eye coal. Um, but I don't have one in that shade, so I'm just going to go in with the eyeshadow. But each to their own, it's your choice. I just do suggest that you use an eye coal rather than an eyeshadow if you do have quite sensitive eyes or you haven't used an eyeshadow in the waterline before. So for my inner corner, I'm going to take the shade Wisteria from Makeup Geek. It's a cute, like, mauvey purple tone. It's so pretty. And I'm going to pack that all on the inner corner area. For the exciting part... <laughs> Literally, I'm so excited for this bit. I'm going to go in with the pigment from Makeup Geek called Sugar Rush. So I'm going to take this and just pack this on the center of my lid. Just for a bit of something extra. It's so flipping beautiful. Like, just wait and see. Like, mm, It will just give you the vibes, guys. It will just give you the vibes. So I just, like, applied it with my finger and, like, a brush and stuff. Just to get, like, a wash. And then I went back over with some of Bitten just because I don't want it to be like a too intense I just want it to be like just like a little bit of something there you know just like a little bit there kind of just like that like just a little wash like so it's like boom when you close your eyes boom boom <laughs> I didn't want it to be like the main kind of focus for it so I did keep it quite light and kind of like subtle ish I mean, like, not really about this look and subtle, like, not a lot. But you know, hun, you know. So, I'm going to go back in with the shadow, um, made you blush and just soften any edges that I feel like are a bit too harsh or anything. Just with a fluffy brush. So, next is mascara. And the mascara I'm going to go in with today is my... Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I'm tossing out whether I actually want to do lashes or not. Because um, I am feeling the like natural lashes. Like this feels like an editorial kind of look. Like that's the kind of vibes I'm getting and I'm not hating it. Um, but yeah, I'll decide. I'll have a think and see if I feel like lashes are necessary or not, you know? And then dipping into like this matte white from Makeup Geek called White Lies and I'm going to apply that to my brow bone. Just because I want to like a subtle highlight but nothing shimmery. I want it to be matte. And then taking that fluffy brush and some of that made you blush shade, I'm just going to soften the edges of White Lies. So I went ahead and put in some individual lashes. I didn't want anything like a band that was too intense. I just wanted it to be quite soft and natural. But I was digging like the editorial, just kind of like natural lashes, really focus on the um, eyeshadow look. But then yeah, in the end I just decided to do like a bit of lashes, like just a little bit of like something, something, you know. So to like finish off this look, I'm just going to do the lips and I'm thinking just keep it casual, like keep it nude, just keep it 
pretty chill. I mean, like a deep, vampy, like wine red lip would look so, so good with this look. But because I do want it to keep the focus on like the eyes, I think I'll just like do like a nude lip. So I'm just going to need to quickly just like outline a bit of my lips with my eye coal from Makeup Geek in the shade Espresso. And then I'm just going to go and fill them in with my Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Commando. Just keeping it like pretty like simple I know I could do like a glossy lip that would look good like pretty good but I don't want to detract from the eyes so I think I'll just leave it like this so this completes today's makeup look guys I really hope you enjoyed it make sure to leave a comment down below of what you think and a request for what you'd like to see in my next video otherwise have an amazing day I love you all so so much and I can't wait to see you in my next tutorial Mwah. bye